Ryan Dean with Gilson Engineering Sales of Florida in the Fort Lauderdale office, and I'm here today in the Gilson Engineering Flow Lab to talk to you about commissioning a Thermo Polysonics Ultrasonic Clamp-On Flow Meter. There's a couple things you're going to want to do when you go to start one of these up. First, you're going to want to make sure you have a nice section of pipe to actually mount the unit on, and second, there's going to be some equipment you're going to want to make sure that you have there with you. First of all, you're going to want to make sure you have a clean section of pipe to mount your transducers. So a couple things you might want to have to do this. You can either go with a piece of sandpaper, a drill, or a grinder for real heavy applications. You're also going to want to have some couplet, a tape measure, some sort of a marker or sharpie to actual, actually mark on your pipe, and then either a towel or paper towels uh, to wipe off the couplet. It's also a good idea to have the manual there with you in case you need to consult that for anything. And you're also going to want to have um, some mounting equipment to help you mount your transducer to the pipe. So you can either have straps like this, you can have this style mounting. You're also going to want to have a screwdriver and the mounting tracks. You're going to want to make sure that you provide power to the unit and then you're going to put in all the parameters. So you want to make sure you know all your pipe information up front. We're going to start by going into menu number 10. So press the menu button and then one zero. And then you're going to type in 2.375, which is the, and then press enter. That's the OD of our 2 inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe. Then menu 11, that's going to take us to wall thickness. And then you're going to type in 0 0.154, press enter. Then come to menu 12, and it will have already calculated the pipe ID for you. You need two of three out of the pipe OD wall thickness and pipe ID, it'll calculate the final one for you. After you do that, go to menu 16. That's for your liner material. We don't have any. If you had a liner, you would go to menu 17, set your liner thickness. Then you're going to press menu 20. That's where you enter your fluid type. We're set for water, uh, but you have different fluids built in. Then you're going to go to menu 23. Type in your transducer type. We have standard transducers on here. Menu 24, this is where you're going to determine what transducer mounting you want, and that is dependent upon your line size and a couple other pieces of information. You can either consult the manual, call someone at Gilson Engineering, or contact the factory, and we'll let you know which transducer mounting is best for your particular application. Then you want to come into menu 30, it's going to do flow units. We want gallons. Menu 31, you set your max flow. Then go to menu 32, and you set your minimum flow, which should be at zero. Once you've put that information in, we're going to come to menu 25, and it's going to tell you how far apart you want your transducers. And based on all the information we've put in, we want our transducers to be 1.32 inches apart. So that's all you have to do for the programming. So we're now going to mount our transducers. We picked our straight section of pipe. What I'm going to do is mount the first transducer, make a reference mark on there, then measure 1.01 inches, and mount our second transducer. With the transit time flow meter, you want to make sure that you have the correct transducer upstream and the correct transducer downstream. This is going to be our downstream transducer. Flow is moving from right to left, and it actually has an arrow on the transducer pointing in that direction. What we're going to do for today's demo is actually mount the transducer at the top of the pipe, but in a real application, you would want to either mount at 3 o'clock or mount it at 9 o'clock, because if you mount at the top of the pipe, you might get some air bubbles in there, and if you were to mount on the bottom of the pipe, you might get grit or sludge. So now we already have our references marked on our pipe, so we're going to put, apply couplet to the first transducer, put it onto the pipe, 
then tighten it down with the strap. Then we're going to put coupling on the second transducer, mount that transducer on the pipe, tighten it down with the strap, and then we're going to actually go over to the unit and uh, plug in your two cables, and you're good to go. Now we're going to come over to the unit, press menu 00. zero. I'm going to turn the pumps on, and we're going to read a flow. And now you can see we're reading 21 gallons per minute, which is exactly what we have our pump set to. And that's all that it takes to set up a Polysonics ultrasonic clamp-on flow meter. If you have any other questions or if you need any other assistance, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-860-4499.